Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I am going to be organizing my nail room slash YouTube studio. So um, this is where all the magic happens <laughs> when I'm recording my YouTube videos. Um, right here is where I actually set up. Um, I will move this chair over here and film videos if I'm showing my face. Otherwise, if I'm filming like nail tutorials and things like that, then I will just put my little lamp here like so and then have my chair here sit right next to it right and then just turn on my little light and film what I need to film okay so yeah this is what I have going on right now it is a hot mess you guys like I have so much stuff in here that I need to just get organized so over here it's just like orders that I've had stuff that I've kind of unboxed um, haven't put away and then other items that I've been saying I'm gonna sell on eBay for like the longest it's random stuff like clothes and electronics and I just haven't gotten around to so I definitely want to move these items and put them somewhere um, here is just like more stuff that I need to film I was gonna film some Walgreens hauls but I changed my mind I'm just gonna go ahead and put those items away um, but this Bath and Body Works these are some new like the new Christmas scents I need to film this video and get that posted um, and yeah so anywho I'm trying to organize my nail room the nail stuff is what I'm trying to do in this video so as you all can see like this right here is um, my little nail rack and um, the top three rows are actually all regular polishes but to be honest with you I really don't use regular polish anymore I'm tempted to get rid of them and just like put all of my gel polishes up here but I feel like I might have a time and place for them I do have a daughter so I might keep them around to paint her nails but I'm really not sure um, but yeah so this is my little nail display this is all nail stuff that I need to just like go through and put up that's from my young nails haul I just did that was from a giveaway that I won and actually yeah this gel and nail extension kit this stuff is actually really good um, that's what I have on my nails right now and I'm absolutely loving it I just did my nails yesterday with this and I love it um, these are some racks I haven't quite decided what I want to do with these racks I got them from Amazon and it's something where you can just like put them on the wall who knows I might have a display here where I put some stuff on the wall I haven't decided yet but I have it here ready to go I like the simple look that I have here but I might put a shelf here and a shelf here to just like you know give myself some more space to store things at but this desk that I'm using actually is the old work desk that we have in our office so this is a room in my house and half of the room is an office half of the room is my YouTube studio and <clears throat> So this is the old desk we used to have for the office and it's my hubby's old desk from his old apartment and it did not have for some reason it did not have a shelf on it so I'm sorry a door on it so yeah this is what's in here like sewing machine items and things like that but I want to put a door here and add shelves in so that I can store more of my nail stuff so I did have this old like this old board that we have from a project that we did a home improvement project and I had my hubby I measured it out and I had him cut it for me he didn't cut it even so I have to do a little bit of sanding um, to get everything to fit properly on here but once I sand this down a little bit that'll be the door and then I also had him do some shelves for me let me grab those so these are like the shelves that he made I also have to sand this stuff too but yeah oh and then here's my closet so this is more storage stuff i have this set up for um overflow nail supplies here's some of the stuff that i put in here but it's not organized at all and then the rest of this stuff is just like makeup from when i was like obsessed with makeup so yeah i do still use it though i've decluttered a lot of that um gave it to my sister-in-law and stuff but um that's that and then the other thing that i'm working with is over here and it's this wardrobe essentially <coughs> excuse me and this is where i pretty much have a majority of the nail products that i currently use this is all like beetles um gel polish sets i have like so many of these i really love 
almost all things Beetle, to be honest with you. This is their um, nail tips and glue set. Oh, I even have this. This is something I can use to like organize some stuff with. Used to have makeup in there. What else is here? Another gel polish set here. So it's just a lot of, these are all the Beatles dip powders. Um, these are all nail supplies, nail supplies, more nail supplies. So I just have a lot of nail supplies and I wanna kinda get some of the stuff out of here and put over here. I wanna get rid of this corner over here and I wanna get rid of this corner here. So that's what we're working with. I'm gonna go ahead and jump to trying to sand down these boards and then i also have to find a way to so this part right here <clears throat> right it's pretty uh, it's pretty hard to do but i need to somehow get that to attach to this board so that the door can open and close but yeah i'm hoping that i can create some shelves and like i said maybe i'll put up a little display right here i just want to get things looking really nice and neat in here because at this point I'm a little over the clutter you know and it's not too bad a lot of these are really just like empty boxes and things I need to get rid of and you know videos I need to film but yeah um, once I finish organizing everything I will come back with an official desk tour but this is what I have thus far so also in this nail corner over here I have um, like these are some of the Dollar Tree nail art supplies that I got. I need to go through and put this stuff up. Um, again, more nail art. Like I said, this is a Young Nails order I did. And this right here is one of my favorite dip powder companies. Um, so I need to go through and put away all of my dip powders. I did do swatches of them, so I need to make like a swatch video. Which is why I have them sitting out, but it's an eyesore and I'm just ready for my space to be clean so I just want to go through and just get rid of all this stuff over here so yeah again stay tuned for the makeover okay happy people I am back so I'm in my nail room right now and this area I showed you all earlier is what I'm wanting to add some shelves into and also add a door onto and so like I mentioned earlier the hubby he did cut this board but he didn't quite cut it even so um, there's a dip right here where um, there's a dip right here which is where I need to shave the rest of it down to be even because it kind of has like a little bow in it and then up here you see the black marker line here I need to shave it down to that too so I have my little sanding board and I'm just going to try to shave it down to get to that point So, the door has been shaved and is ready to be installed. Now I have the three shelves that I had him cut out for me. Um, and the plan is to create three shelves right here for myself. So it'll be one up top here, one a little bit further down, and then I'm hoping to have like one just kind of right here. And I'm actually gonna take this stuff out of here and put it somewhere else. Um, I This side has grooves on it right i don't know if y'all can kind of see the texture of that it has grooves on it and i want to have that flat surface so that when i store my items um you know i can stack it and move it around easily so what i'm going to do is take some contact paper i got this stuff from um dollar tree and then i'm just going to cover the boards with the contact paper right um at first i was going to try to wrap it around just in case i wanted to 
um, you know, maybe use the other side at some point, but I don't think I'll have a need for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut and measure this and um, put this on all three boards. And then I have extra two rows for the extra two boards. So well, let's hop right on into that. Okay, so this is the board that we have here. So I made a mistake on this. I actually should have left a little bit more room maybe for the contact paper to come in to like here on each side, but we have it here. That's what we got going on so far. This part came out beautiful. It's nice and smooth. There's no lumps or anything on it. I was pretty excited about that. So yeah, and back here, these flaps, I'll probably just go ahead and take those down. I'll probably take it down with this extra contact paper. And then that's how it's gonna look like in here. You see, so that's what the shelf's gonna look like. So I'm gonna go through and like I said, repeat the process on these other two boards here. Now actually, if I can, I might just try to cut these strips to cover this. I will do it on both sides, but I have to actually. So I have all of my shelves completed. Now I want to kind of clear out this space underneath here to see about um, like where I want my shelves to go. And um, yeah, and then just go from there. So I'm gonna clear out everything that I have down here. Um, let's see. where I keep my sewing machine at so I'll have to find another place to put this for now.
Okay, so I just found like these old screws that we had from another project here around the house. Got my toolbox here and I just installed the screws here and these little holes that are already in the um, desk. And so I'm gonna just slide it on there and look at that y'all. Holy smokes, okay. So that's pretty cool. So that's the first shelf. I'm trying to decide like how high up I want each shelf to be. I think I might just end up doing two shelves actually. I might just do two shelves like this. And then these little pieces, this came with the desk. I might just try to install them like here. I don't think I need that extra. Yeah, I don't think I need that. So I think I'm gonna just do a shelf here and a shelf here. And I think that'd be plenty for me to be able to store all of my stuff. So I'm gonna do one more shelf. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this board, but it's pre-made and ready to go. So I am going to, oh, maybe I can just put it down here as like the core. Yeah, I'll just lay it down there so it kind of matches everything that's on the inside. And if I ever need an extra shelf, I can just maybe move stuff up and move it around or whatnot, so. here I just feel like if I do one here right it's gonna be really hard for me to get to what's underneath it if I do it here it just it's gonna be hard to get to what's behind there so I don't know that it's worth having it so far up so yeah I think I'm gonna just do this for now leave that here and then put this one here have two shelves and a door, right? And then I'll just have storage containers where I put all of my items in here. So yeah, and then I'll just leave that down there for extra decor. All right, cool. So I'm gonna show you all how I did these screws here. Screws installed, second shelf in. It's perfect. Okay, cool. So, that's that. And now the last thing left to do is to install the door. So, this part's gonna be interesting because I still need to shave more of this off. I'm gonna do that off camera because the shaving is actually taking way longer than I thought it would. And then the next part is gonna be trying to figure out how I'm gonna actually have it on here to where it snaps onto these things here. Cause it's like a flat surface. So I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get that to snap on here so that the door can open and close. Yeah. I mean, I thought about just cutting out something. be the, the finished product here once I shave it down it'll be nice and closed and flat and I'll just have to figure out a way to kind of get it to open and close here so yeah we'll see how that goes so this is the progress we've made so far um, I actually had to take a quick intermission my little one woke up and um, <clears throat> I started taking the stuff off the desk and I just realized I wasn't recording so sorry about that so I had to take a brief intermission. Um, yeah, so my little one woke up. And so, I, yeah, I had to go take care of her. And then when I came back in here, I realized I didn't cover anything in the room. So 
everything that was on my desk got dust all over it um and so i'm just i just took everything off my desk and i'm dusting it um and so that's where i'm at now i'm getting ready to just take some sanitizing wipes and clean the desk off and then just prepare the top of the desk here i got some stuff i'm getting ready to film a couple of um pr items that i received that i need to film that i've already pre-prepped for i got all my supplies and materials out um and i normally keep that on my desk and so yeah and this is just a random but um my hubby he recently got some nike tennis shoes and um he was getting ready to throw this box away and i just kind of like the fact that the box it just kind of slides out and slides in it's kind of like a drawer so likely what I'm gonna do is put that on the bottom shelf down over here and store like maybe some dip pockets or something in it. So just make sure you guys are utilizing items that are already around the house for storage. Um, but yeah, that's what I have this for. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of like spray my desk and sanitize it. So I'm gonna do that. What I ended up doing with this part right is I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get um, this door to stay so I, I honestly I'll probably just kind of keep it in here like this and then whenever I do my nail videos and stuff I'll just pop the board out but I'll show you here so this is how I this is how it is right now and I went ahead and just put just a few storage containers in here just trying to get an idea of how I can organize things um, but I don't know how to get this to stay on here because this board is pretty thin and flimsy and this latch right here it's pretty strong so attach it to there and then break this so for now I'm just kind of sliding it in here like so and just popping out kind of popping it out when I need to work on it it's not how I want it to be I'd rather be able to just swing the door open but it's something that works for now and then my little one she can't get in here because that was my biggest concern was this area was open and so my daughter would always you know kind of mess with whatever was right here so this is going to be how I use this for now but I took this out because I need to get in this drawer so, I'm gonna go through and wipe this off later, but I just really want the top wiped off for now because my little one needs me. So without having anything else on my desk, this is what I normally put on there. This is my mat that I have. I got this from Amazon, I'll leave it linked. But I like this because you can use this side to record on or you can kind of use this silver side. I normally use the pink side. So I'll have this like this. already pre-prepped for another nail design I'm going to do so I don't know if y'all can see this or not but I'm going to do a bling Christmas tree okay okay the last item that I normally keep on the desk is my marble plate here I got this from Ross it was seven bucks and I like to keep that right here in the middle Oops. Yeah. keep that in the middle just like this so this is how my desk normally is at all times and just so y'all can get a kind of better look at it that is you know that's this is my workspace I don't know if y'all can see the quote let me see this is the quote that I have on the wall too you know attitude of gratitude and then this is like my nail polish and swatch sticks and stuff so I'm gonna do a full tour once I get done with all of this stuff but so far this is the desk and how I have it set up um, I am going to go ahead and, like I said, on any given day, this is how my desk look. But when I'm getting ready to film and record, it's way more stuff on here. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything else on here that I need to record. And plop this back into place how I plan to use it for now until I can figure out a better system for it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like, this is what we have so far. Next, I need to organize all of this crap here and all of this stuff over here. And even the stuff down here. And I don't even want to show you guys this corner over here. That's just it's too much. But um, <laughs> um, that is why I have this stuff. And I'm thinking about, so let me go ahead and ink, uh, bring this up for you all. So I'm thinking about right on this wall here. I have these um, clear containers here, right? I was planning on like maybe doing like two shelves right here on the wall, right? But I don't know, I kind of want my wall to be kind of plain and just kind of simple and clean. But I wanted to put these here maybe for dip powders and or acrylic powders, but I'm not really sure. So you guys let me know what you think. Do you think that would look nice or not? Do you think it'll look too cluttered on the wall? 
um, right now the only thing I have on this wall is the picture and then my nail polishes. So yeah, so this is all I have on the wall right now. So oops. So do you guys think it'll look too cluttered if I put this on there with it? Like or there something like this? What do you think? Let me know. I think for now I'm not going to put them on here, but once I post the video and hear you guys' feedback, we'll see. I might change it. So that's it for now. Um, I think at the end of this, I'm gonna just do a full nail room tour review reveal. So yeah. All right. I'll see y'all in my next video. Have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.